What's up traders? In this video, I want to accomplish two things in less than 15 minutes. First, I want to show you all of the functionality that goes into TradingView that they have to offer us. Second, I want to show you how I have my TradingView set up for my daily trading. So let's get into it. <music> My name is Austin Silver, and I'm really appreciative of you being here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. We post podcasts and trading tutorials all week long. Before we get into today's video, I want to let you know that if you want to trade live with me and our team of funded full-time traders, there's a link in the description where you can join us on ASFX TV for a three-day free trial. Come check out the live streams during the London session and the New York session. Follow along on our trades, chat with us in the live chat, and get feedback on any trades that you're looking at as well. It's a great environment for for someone that's new or struggling to see how a funded full-time trader navigates the live market. Let's get into the trading view stuff. The link is down there if you want it. First, I want to talk about functionality. The goal today is to make this video as short and sweet as possible. So I'm going to talk fast. Pause it, rewatch it. You guys know how to get this stuff into your brain better than I do. I'm just here to put it out in front of you for you to consume. You'll see I am signed in already to my account. I have a premium account. You're going to want to get one of the paid accounts with TradingView. You can start with the free. If you really want to access everything they have to offer, including the replay tool and all their other indicators, you need a paid version. Other than that, there's nothing in that top left button that you're going to need. Let's move across the top of the screen. First, you'll notice we have the symbol search bar where we can type in any symbol, Forex futures, indices, bonds, anything, a general economic indicator, we can find all of that here. Also, when you're just looking at TradingView, if you want to just type in Euro USD as a random just typing it in while you're not clicking on anything, you'll open up that symbol search bar as well. So you don't have to come up here and click. Next to that, you'll find the compare or add symbol. I don't use this very often. This is used to overlay two charts on top of each other. So say you want to compare Bitcoin and SPX, you would just put Bitcoin on the chart, compare it with US 500. You could click it on here as a new price scale, new pain, or same percentage scale. And that will then lay both charts on the same thing for you to compare them. Beyond that, you'll see we have all of the time frames. Now, the little drop down arrow here will allow you to see all of the time frames available. And again, this will be determined based on the premium or the free version that you're using, how many time frames you have access to. I like to favorite some of these time frames, as you can see here, so that way they're easily accessible at the top of the screen. But just like with a currency pair or with when you type in US 500 to find it, if you just type in three, it'll bump you to the three minute chart if you hit enter. If you go to five, it'll take you to a five minute chart. So whatever time frame you put in will actually then be applied to the chart that you're looking at. So now that you understand the time frames at the top of the chart here at the top of TradingView, I've refreshed the page so you can see my current chart layout. I have black and red candles. I have volume along the bottom still. We're going to delete that. And I've changed the background to a darker gray, which just fits me better. I like it better. It's easier on the eyes. Next to the time frames, you'll find we can have all the different ways to view current price, line break charts, line charts, Heikinashi. I just use regular candles. Keep it simple. Next to that, you'll find our indicator metrics and strategies search bar, search box, whatever you want to call it. These are the indicators that I am currently using. We'll come back to this in a second, but if you'd like to see, we're using the A2 ASFX entry beta. We're using ASFX ADR, ASFX EMAs and Asian range, ASFX TDI. We'll play with volume. These are some of the older A2 indicators, but those ones I just listed for you here, you can find them by searching through the technicals or the financials in here. You can even search in community scripts. Anywhere you type in search, you're going to be able to find these. So if you want to copy my layout, just screenshot or pause here and go search these in your indicators box. Next to the indicators box, we have our indicator templates, which are preset templates. If you click them, they change the entire chart layout. I don't use them. If you'd like to set those up, you can. Next to that, we have alerts. And then my favorite tool, the replay tool. If you pay for one of the premium levels of trading view, you get a bar replay tool where you can cut back and then play it bar by bar from that moment, from that day. Or you can hit play and it'll automatically play forward for you just like this and you can control the speed of that and everything there. Hit this X in the bottom right corner, that'll close the replay. Next to the replay, we just have our undo and redo buttons, which are very self-explanatory. You wanna make money trading, we can help you do that. Click the link, take the three-day free trial to ASFX TV, and come live stream with our team of funded, full-time professional traders all week long. I have my floating favorites toolbar right here. So how I set that up is I go through each one of these along the left side and I hit the star to favorite the ones that I am currently using, which you can see, you can pause this video and then copy me if you'd like. I use the trend line, I use the horizontal tool, and I use the vertical line tool the most. None of this other stuff. Beyond that, 
I use a trend-based fib extension for my A2 stop loss. So you can see that is on my favorites toolbar. Underneath that, nothing in the patterns in Elliott Wave section. You know, I don't do anything like that. In our projection, in our measurement stuff, I have my long position, my short position, my date and price range, and more recently, my anchored VWAP also here on the favorites toolbar. So I can put those anywhere. In the brushes tool, I have the brush, the rectangle, and the ellipse as my three favorites. Very easy to use. You can just use that brush to draw all over, right? You can use the ellipse to draw ellipses. And if you ever want to change any of the indicators that you put on the chart, you just double click it and you'll see the style and the text. It all pops up so you can customize that individual indicator. What I just did there to erase everything is I right click on the chart and I hit remove drawings. If you remove indicators, it will do that. I clicked remove drawings. That right click remove drawings, super fast, super easy. As we go down further, I don't use anything other than the text, the call out and the price label. I don't do anything in this little smiles and anything like that. So nothing there. This measurement tool, the measurement tool is used if you click on it and then click twice on the chart. You can also click shift on your keyboard, click once, click twice, and it'll show you how many bars, how long of a distance, how much percent that is, and how many points that move is up or down. So that's a cool little quick measurement tool if you don't want to use the green or red short and long measurement tool. Since I have this open, let me just set you guys up on something important here with the short and long tool. So the short tool has the green on the bottom, the red on the top. The long tool has the red on the bottom, the green on the top. You can change those colors, but make sure when you do, you come into style, check off your price labels, check off your compact stats mode, and put always show stats. You can mess with the opacity, you can mess with the text, I don't care. But if you're gonna be showing these markups to someone, you've gotta hit always show stats. And compact stats mode makes it a lot better than versus all that text. So you keep that compact on, hit that, and then you'll be good to go. As you make any of these changes, everybody, you wanna make sure you go to the top right corner of the screen, name this by hitting this drop down and then saving it, and even put on the auto save. You'll see I have chart layout saved right here. That's my way of doing this. So here, you'll have unlimited capability to set up different chart layouts. I have one for swing trading, one for day trading, so on and so on. The zoom in tool is pretty self-explanatory. The magnet tool, the stay in drawing mode, the lock, I don't use any of this stuff right here. You can if you would like, I don't. A trash can, pretty self-explanatory, right? Along the bottom, there's more time frame control. You can also jump to a specific date using this little calendar at the bottom. That's very helpful. Your time zone is selected down here in the bottom right corner of the screen. So make sure that is set to where you are. I'm in New York time zone, so you'll see I'm in New York there. If we click this up arrow in the bottom right corner, this is where you can link your broker. This is where you can hit a paper trading account to just do some paper trading. You can even have your strategy tester put in here, your pine editor if you wanna edit any of the script. You can build a screener now. They do a lot, so this is a whole set of features down here at the bottom that personally I just don't use because I'm very refined in my process at this point. Let's look at the top right and then this toolbar along the right side. The long and short of this, on the right side here, all I'm using is this top one. Maybe I will use the hot for the day here, the hot lists to see what stocks are moving and I'll drag this a little bit wider so I can see it here, right? I'll maybe use this but as you can see, I don't look at notifications. I don't care what other people are saying. I don't look at these live videos or these ideas. I don't do anything with this stuff. I use the watch list and the hot list. If you set alerts, this is where alerts will come up as well. You can click add right here and set up the alerts. That's very, very self-explanatory, very easy to do. I don't use them. I recommend you come in and you build a watch list. I hit create new and I called it test. What you want to do then is make sure you click this up arrow, this plus sign, excuse me, and you add the things that you want on your list to this list. If you just start typing them in, you're just going to bounce between Euro USD, GBP USD. They're not getting added to the list. So you've got to hit add, type in Euro USD, make sure you select the correct broker that you want. You can see there's a lot of different Euro USDs and then you hit the add. Now that's going to put it here on your watch list, which then as you can see can be segmented segmented into different lists with different flags and all that fun stuff. It's, it's very, very self-explanatory. The lists is a must. We have the publish button, which is important if you're publishing these to TradingView. The snapshot button is gonna be used to tweet these or save the links, share them, being either downloaded or copied here. So this is very important to know, whether you wanna copy the link and share it to me for feedback, or maybe you wanna download it and save it and send it to Twitter. Whatever you wanna do, that's up here during or through the camera icon. We can go full screen here. Here's our chart settings, which we're going to talk about in a second. This is a new search function here where you can search for anything in TradingView right here. And then this drop down arrow, like I said, is going to show you the chart layouts. And I'm just going to remind you again to make sure you're saving those. If you click here on select layout, this allows you to customize how many charts are you looking at and what syncs up across multiple charts. So say you put it into a two chart layout 
and you wanted to make it so that both had the same symbol and interval on both sides. Now, watch as I change one, they both say Euro USD on the one day. But if I take off interval and symbol, and I have it now, let's on the right side, look at GBP USD. Now I can go to GBP USD on the 15 minute chart, see it up here at the top, and this one can stay on Euro USD. So now you can look at two different things at the same time. So that's the border of TradingView. Now I wanna go over the settings and then I'm gonna set you up with my chart layout. So first thing, right click anywhere or go to the top right, click settings. First thing I recommend you guys do is start with symbol. I like to make my colors black and red. Borders are black, wicks are black. I have nothing else checked here except the last price line. So it shows me what the current price is right here. You can see that on the right side. So that looks great. Status, all I have is logo, title. Title is selected as just ticker to keep it small. And then indicator titles. I don't have indicator values or all this other stuff because then it just gets crazy over here in the top of the corner, top right corner. We don't need any of that. You don't need open, high, low, close values. Turn that off. Now we go to scales. As you can see on scales, I, again, just don't have a lot on here. The symbol last price, no overlapping, countdown to bar close, and day of week on labels. That's all I have for scales. For canvas, this is up to you. I like the gray. I don't do grid lines, and I like crosshair that's pretty thin. I don't like the watermark in the background, and I like the text to be reasonable. 20 is a good size so that my people on my live stream on ASFX TV can see it. Play around with the margins down here at the bottom. That'll help you have more of a buffer on the top, bottom, and right side of your screen. As you can see, those are the numbers I'm currently using. If we go to trading, this is if you're actually trading on TradingView. I'm not, so none of this will matter at all. Only if you're trading on TradingView will that matter. Events, make sure session breaks are on. That's your period separator at the end of each day. Other than that, it's pretty much irrelevant unless you're a stock trader. From there, make sure you hit apply all. So if you have a double chart layout, it goes to both and then hit okay. Make sure after that you come up in the top right corner and you save it. So now that that's set up, I wanna show you when we come to indicators, first thing we're gonna do is erase this volume. We're gonna set up my chart. You see my period separators. We're looking at a 15 minute chart. You can see that in the top corner, GBP USD 15 minute. So that looks great. Now I need some indicators. For now, I'd like to put on the A2 beta right there. So I get my A2 and I'd like to put on ADR and my EMAs. This is just my basic chart setup. Just with those indicators, look at how I can put some context to this chart. For right now, the way that I'm currently trading as of filming this video, I'm not using the 200 and the 50. So notice how I can double click on that indicator, come in here and turn them off. I can turn off the Asian range, the fill, slim it down, make it really clean. Now I see my A2s, I see my 8 and 21 EMAs, and I see my average daily range, my ADR line. And now I'm ready to trade. I'll probably pop this away and keep it like this to do my trading. I know that my long tool is ready with the compact stats mode. I can drag this over. I can measure my moves now. Okay, stop loss of 21.2 pips. This goes 67.1 pips. I'm starting to read this now. I can even put in a vertical line to mark the time here at the bottom. See, I can see now that entry would be at 8.15. Maybe I wanna draw the little flag that I'm seeing in here and I draw it like that. All of that is accessible now through the favorites toolbar and just putting the indicators on the screen. So I hope that this video has been helpful. I did it, I think in less than 15 minutes or just about 15 minutes. Plus now you guys know about the three day free trial to ASFX TV, which I highly recommend. If you watch this all the way through, come watch me trade live. Let me help you make some money. You'll probably get a winning trade call in the three day free trial. And then it's up to you if you wanna stay on board. There's never any pressure. But I really appreciate the attention. I hope this video helps. I hope it sets you up for success. I hope you make a ton of money trading this year and in your future. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, any of my podcasts that we have coming out every week, all week. But for now, we'll put a pin in it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks everybody. Happy trading.